Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be checking out the brand new warp terminal and why I've switched over to using it for my everyday terminal and why maybe you might just as well. So this right here is the brand new warp terminal. And the first thing you're going to notice is that your actual prompt is down at the bottom. And every time you press enter, it's actually going to hug the bottom of the screen here. And when you clear the screen back at the bottom and something that warp does that's pretty unique is it breaks all these things into prompts. And so we have these little blocks here and the blocks are unique. And so you can actually click on one of these and use your arrow keys to navigate through them, but they're all their own separate piece of code per se. And so if we had a quick output here, we'd be able to right click and just copy that output, which is super handy, or just copy the command, copy both, and even create a permalink. And we'll talk about a little bit about that later. It gives you these really unique copy features that you typically wouldn't have in a normal command. I don't know how many times you've tried to just copy the exact output, but now we could just say copy output and be on our way. And what's really nice about these being blocks is if we have some really long output, like you see here, you can actually see this little up arrow up at the top. If we click on that, it actually takes us to the top of that prompt. So we didn't have to sit and scroll all the way through here, but because they're also blocks, we can just click on one and kind of just use the arrow keys to navigate between these different blocks. And like I said before, being able to right click and just copy the output from this entire prompt. And I mentioned this permalink feature earlier. So if you go ahead and click on that guy there, what's going to happen is it's going to actually give you the option to share that block of code with other people. So if there's another person you're working with that you want to show them this output, um, in this case, we're checking if node 16 has vulnerabilities, which it does. We could go ahead and create a link just by clicking this button here. And then it creates this brand new link. And then if we open up Safari and paste that link in there, it'll actually take us to that output. And so you can share this web URL with people and give them the exact output from your prompt, which is really handy. Then once you're done using that permalink, it's not super obvious, but it actually still exists outside of this terminal session. And the way that's managed is if you click on the three dots in the top corner and you go to settings, then go over to shared blocks. It's going to show you all the shared blocks you have, and then you can just go ahead and unshare them. That way you don't leave it shared longer than you need to. And once it's not relevant, you don't really need to share it anymore anyways. Warp also has its own built-in auto completion. So if you just press up, you'll actually see a little drop down that has auto completions in it and you can just kind of navigate through them. Or if you're going to be using like something like a tab complete, it does support tab completion as well. It gives you just another, another prompt where you can actually see the, the options and scroll through them and choose which one you want to choose. Then the warp team actually refers to this prompt down here at the bottom as a text editor, and they want you to get creative with how you use it. So if we, we could actually write out an entire script here. And once you get to the end of a line that you want to go ahead and continue, you just do a shift enter, and then you could actually put multiple lines of text here. So once we have this fully scripted out, we could actually run it and it's going to run each one of those steps or we can actually select certain aspects in here. So like maybe we didn't want this additional feature in our script. We could just go ahead and take it out. And so it actually gives you this drag and drop functionality like you would normally have using um, your keyboard. Another really cool feature about this text editor is it supports multiple cursors. So if we wanted to rename this from file.sh, we could, and we could just click to, at the end of each one of these prompts holding down our command key. And we could actually just rename all of these files at once. Then you just press escape to get out of the multi-cursor. 
then that is the warp terminal that does do more than i have illustrated here but those are the top features and the top reasons why you would also want to be using the warp terminal um, something i do want to call out in this video though is that it is built on rust and it is not node based such as hyper i know that was like the really big complaint about hyper was that it was built on electron and that would allow things to get slowed down but it's built on top of rust to keep things quick it's also important to note that this is a brand new product that you actually have to join a waitlist for i do feel like everybody should go get on the waitlist try it out give them some feedback it does have a few bugs but at the end of the day it does just work it's quick and it actually has sped up my improvement using those little block features i was telling you guys about it's been super convenient to use and i've really enjoyed using the terminal using the work terminal and they also have a lot of features that haven't yet come out yet that seem really exciting such as the collaboration mode and plugins i can just imagine how cool the plugins would be with this guy can you imagine just having some built-in Kubernetes, Docker, whatever, right into your terminal. You don't have to mess with Z shell or anything like that. It's just a quick prompt, enable it, don't enable it. So I think that's gonna be really cool to see down the road as well. And that is everything I have for you guys in this video. I wanted to keep it brief, short, and just straight to the point. Um, if you like this video, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.